Alright, let's uh, do some work on the old uh, Craftsman here. The Briggs. We'll call it a Briggs. Alright. I just uh, got some head gas because I ordered two of them. They're so cheap. They were, they're genuine Briggs. And uh, they're only like uh, three or four dollars a piece or something. So I ordered two of them. You know, no sense trying to, you know, because this one sort of pulled apart when we uh, took it apart. So. I didn't think it was going to be here that soon. I thought I had a little more time to play around, but uh, we don't. So uh, I'm going to clean that all that off around the valves and uh, scrape the head off, head gasket. Same with this, clean the head up. And then uh, we'll grind some valves. All right. All right. Started scraping the head here. I mean, the gasket's coming off. Not coming off all that easy, but. Uh, Trying to dig into the head. Gotta get this. Uh, there we go. Yeah, something's getting off. And then what I'm doing, I'll figure out. Try and get some of this carbon off too. But uh, it's gonna take me a little bit, and then we we'll just hit it with a wire wheel. All right, I'll keep doing this. You guys take a rest. All right, I cleaned up good enough. I'm happy with that. And there's like a little burr right here sticking up. I don't know uh, what's going on there, but they're gonna put that with a file. There we go. The head should be good to go there. All right, I brought you guys down here with me. I'm sitting on the floor and I'm trying to get this gasket off. Put some rags inside here to keep things a little clean. And uh, this one, uh, this is going to be a little tougher, but uh, we'll get it. And yeah, maybe not. Maybe a couple minutes. There we go. All right, take another break and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, I cleaned off pretty good. I even uh, cleaned the carbon off the piston. All right, I'm ready to uh, grind the valves down. All right, I'm gonna bring you over here to the sander. All right, I usually use this uh, disc right here, but I'm gonna use this one today because uh, this one goes uh, twice as fast and takes off twice as much material and I don't want to do that. And this one, this one will uh, suit us just fine. Uh, first thing we're going to do is make sure it's square. And right now it's not. Alright, so let me put these down and uh, so I can uh, square that up. Alright, next we're going to square this thing up, but uh, I'm going to throw you guys up on a tripod, okay? Alright. Alright, I square it up with the speed square because, uh, you know, this, this uh, I guess it's Chinese, Japanese, I don't know. But uh, I, I don't, don't believe what uh, it reads, you know, like even the zero here, you know, this pointer. It's held on by a screw and if it was loose or something, so don't go by that. Alright, we're all squared up here. You know, you're, you're just trying to do the best you can to make everything square. You know? I mean, some guys are, aren't going to agree to wait with the way I do this, but uh, this is what I have. So that's what we're going to use. Alright, then finally, I'm going to double check and uh, make sure this is square. So it is. And that's the best you can do. Alright, let's cut some valves. Alright. I'm going to start with the intake. If you remember, our intake valve didn't have any clearance at all. It was absolutely closed. And it's supposed to be uh, five thousandths to seven thousandths. So uh, what I'm going to do is take my uh, Michitoyu, is that how you pronounce it? And uh, I'm not even going to take a measurement. I'm just going to stick it in here. 
and then uh, zero it out. Oh yeah, over there. All right, I'm just gonna stick it in here and uh, zero it out. And then I'm just gonna try and take five thousandths off, and then I'm just gonna ease in on it and just keep checking it on the machine. I mean, you're, if you go over a thousandth or two, you're okay, but uh, you go any more than that, you might screw shit up. So, all right. I almost forgot to tell you what. Here's the setup. I got a V block here, and I'm just going to stick it up against here, and stick the valve in, so that'll that'll keep it pretty square. I don't know how well you guys can see. I don't want to zoom you in too much, but I'm just going to sit in there. I'm going to hold it down and hold it up against there, and then spin it real gently and just uh, let it take off a little bit you might not you might not see me doing much you might, you might not see anything because uh, my hands are going to be in the way but I, I can't avoid that so uh, let's take a little bit off and uh, see what it looks like alright I moved you over to the side here so hopefully you might be able to see something let's try and just take a little bit off it ain't going to take much measure that and uh, see what it came out to. Alright, just that little bit, you guys, uh, just that little bit and uh, it says we took off seven and a half thousand. It's just that little bit. So let's go try it in the machine. If, it, if that's what it is, that's fine. That's what we need. Like I say, the, the top limit was uh, seven thousandths. So you know if you're a half thousandth or we're one over, that's okay. Alright, I'm going to try and stay out of your way. Let me back this up here and show you what I'm doing. Alright, what I'm doing is I'm going to stick it in the valve guy here where it belongs. Okay, can you see it? See it coming through there? But first what you want to do is uh, stick your finger in there. And just make sure uh, your tap is out. You see it's up now? Make sure it's uh, all the way down. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is eight thousandths. And we're going to see what we got here. I'm going to try and stay out of your way. Okay. All right, that's tight. Uh, you see, the micrometer might not have been that accurate. So, uh, that's why I wanted, I wanted to take it out and uh, try this. Okay. Looks like uh, we still have to take it down. Alright, here's uh, six thousandths. I'm going to try that and lift it out and listen to this. You, you can hear it snap, which means that we still got quite a bit to go. That's why I say uh, I'm not crazy about using that micrometers. You don't want something that big. I mean, uh, caliper. Alright, let me go uh, take a little bit more off. Okay, I went back to that sander three times to get this, uh, to keep taking a little bit off. Alright, we got, uh, can you see that? It's uh, eight, eight thousandths. All right, it's a thousandth over what they recommend. And I'll tell you why I did that. Okay, look, it's nice, tight fit there. All right, when we lap these, plus when we put the spring on there, the spring will probably be pulling a little tighter than my finger will push on it here. And then when you lap it, it'll, it'll go in, and it'll should, it should be fine. So uh, the top one's good. Now let's do the exhaust. Here's the exhaust valve. I got that in there. I didn't do anything with it yet. And this is five thousandths. And that's what we got right now. It's a tight five. And that should be eleven. 
So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do a little bit of grinding, and I'll come back. All right. Took a couple times, but uh, I got a 12 here, and the 12 is nice and tight. All right. Now I'm gonna lap them, and that should make them a little bit better. All right. Got our lapping tools out here. We got our uh, clover compound here. Let's say two dollars and eighty-five cents. Good luck finding that. Huh? All right. Also, it's Briggs and Stratton. You got to use Briggs and Stratton lapping compound on this engine, or else it won't work. I'm just kidding. All right. The top half of this is coarse. The bottom half is fine. Uh, we're probably just going to use the fine. I mean, it's not like uh, the seats are bad, you know. I, I probably didn't, don't even have to lap it, but uh, since I got it apart, we're going to. All right. Here you guys are used to seeing me uh, lap valves with this uh, little baby. You know, that's for the tiny engines, but uh, for this one here, I'm going to use this. Uh, this here is an, actually an, an antique egg beater type lapper. And uh, I bought it off an old guy. It was about 90. 95 years old, and he used to carry this around in his Model A because them guys used to do repairs on the side of the road. You know, can you imagine somebody doing a valve job on the side of the road? And I modified the bottom here a little bit uh, just to accept uh, the smaller valves, but uh, it's pretty neat. The, thing's, the thing is like brand new. Matter of fact, I had to, I had to take it apart when I first got it because the grease was so hard it wouldn't turn. So, there you go. Yeah, they call this an egg beater, and uh, I'll show you why. I'll put it all, bring it over to the, the engine there. All right, let's go. All right, I stuck the valve onto the suction cup here. The suction cup's just about perfect fit for that. And uh, what we want, I don't know how well you can see it, because I, I don't have you zoomed all the way in, because I want you to be able to see what's going on here. All right, when we get done, we're going to want like a, a line a nice uh, line around this, this whole thing here. It should be uh, a nice flat gray, and that'll tell you. It'll tell you we're all sealed. So, like I say, this is the fine stuff. You don't really need much. Right. Also, I'll show you why they call it an egg beater. Back in the day. When Grandma used to make eggs and stuff. She would have something similar to this. All right, here we go. You want to make sure your uh, tap is all the way down. All right, yeah. And if you can see it, I'm gonna go slow now. This is actually turning back and forth like that. It's not going around in circles. It's it's uh, going like that. So that's what you do. You just keep uh, turning it like that. You can actually hear it grinding in there. And then you go like this. Also, this makes it a lot easier, you know, on a, on a horizontal engine. Or not, yeah. Well, when you're working horizontally, it's not a horizontal engine, but when you're working horizontally like this, instead of trying to spin that little handle. I don't remember what I paid the old man for this thing, but it was worth it. Really shouldn't uh, need much lapping on this, but uh, let's see what it looks like. You're not really taking any, you're, you're really just polishing it with this stuff. You're not really taking any material off. You can hear when it's cutting how it gets quieter. You hear it grinding right now, and then the more you grind, you hear it get quieter now. That's why you always do this. Alright, that should be plenty. I was just playing here because uh, I don't get to use this much. Alright, let me wipe this off and we'll take a look at it. Okay, that worked out good. I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, I'm going to try and zoom you in without... Yeah. There you go, it shouldn't be blurry. But here's that, uh, that line around here I was talking about. And it uh, actually came out pretty good. And the seat itself down here is good too. So that one's done. I'm gonna do the other one. I'm not gonna. You guys don't have to see that. You know how it's done. So uh, 
I'm gonna do that one and then we'll uh, put these valves back in. Turn these back on, see? I'm not the only one having fun, you guys can have some fun with me. I love this little machine. I think I've had it about eight years, and it's the first time I really used it. Other than uh, just to play around. That should be plenty. That should be more than enough. You can imagine all the other guys yelling, Oh, wait, no, that's too much! Too much! Hmm. Alright. Can you see that? Nice line all the way around. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, now we got to put the springs back on. All right, I cleaned up all the tools and everything. Uh, decided I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start uh, putting the the valves back in or anything like that right now because uh, I just got a call from a little dirt bike and uh, he wants to go to a cruise night, so I gotta go get the coupe ready and uh, go meet him there. So uh, we probably got a good uh, 15 20 minutes here. So. Uh, we're going to call it a video. Alrighty. Enough of this.